going to do now is clean stair wells. Uh, Raymond had these stair wells and he let them go and just didn't do the job he was supposed to do. So guess who got to clean them? They got appointed to me because Raymond wouldn't do his job. The administrator came to me. She said, who cleans those stair wells? Raymond. Well, we have four stair wells on this end of the building. So split the stair wells up between me and one other person. I have two. They have two. So now that we're have a break during Christmas break, I'm going to really clean the stair wells really good. I'm going to clean the window, sweep the stair wells. Things. But I want to show you the tools that you use on a daily cleaning. Well, when students are here, because you can't wet these stairwells and mop them while they're here, but we're going to do that today. But on a daily cleaning, all I carry with me is my good old faithful broom, my good old faithful dust pan, and my microfiber dust mop. And that's what I carry in stairwells when we clean them daily. All right, but today we're going to be using some other tools. I'm actually going to use this thing. I don't know what this is called. It's a microfiber thing and it bends all kinds of crazy directions. I'm going to call it a thingamajig. How about that? We're going to call this a thingamajig. Raymond don't know what a thingamajig is. So anyway, we're also going to use this little duster out here. We're going to dust <coughs> up around in our ceiling part, our windowsill and different things. And I have a eight foot extension handle that I'm going to be able to use to get higher things. And uh, this is really good for cleaning windows. I'm also cleaning the windows in this stairwell. You're gonna see me do that, but I'm gonna do a later video on how to clean windows with a window mop and a squeegee. Where I like to use my thingamajig. Okay. I don't even know where this came from. This was here when I came here. But it's like super cool. Okay. I'm going to use this thing. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my thingamajig. Okay. 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 I'm going to use my thingamajig and do my top landing first. that I do. You notice when I swept the top, I didn't bring all that dirt down with me. When I do these stairs right here to the next level, in my next landing, I'm going to sweep all that up and put it in a dustpan. I'm not going to sweep all this dirt from the top all the way down to the bottom because that's just scaring more dust and more dirt. So why would I want to carry all that dirt with me? Now, one thing about sweeping stairwells is not to go crazy because you don't want all of that dirt to be all up in here and I don't have to do this every day but occasionally you know you have to dust that off right there but today we're cleaning the stairwells because they're going to be mopped really good you can take your duster on the handle if you want and also dust this but I found that a broom does a fair enough job. The 
And the looks of these stairwells, you see that there is a lot of lint and dirt. That was loud. A lot of lint and dirt, you think. You clean these daily? Yes, I clean these daily. But when you have 500 kids that's on this top floor running up and down these stairs in the morning for lunch, for PE, for special classes and different things, you do the math. If you've got 500 kids and they're running up down here three or four times a day, that's equivalent to 2,000 people in traffic. Plus, when they come off the playground, it brings a lot of dirt in here. So this is the reason that they have to be cleaned daily. This is one of my most traveled stairwells. This is the reason that I don't carry all that dirt down with me because why would I want to keep moving this same dirt around and around and around? Raymond don't know those kind of tricks. I'm going to clean this window from the inside. This is something that I do extra during the holidays and different things when there's no kids here. I'm able to do this. Do this a couple times a year. Now the outside of this one is about 20 foot off the ground, so don't worry about that right now. That comes at a later date. But I'm going to do a more detailed window cleaning video later about what I'm using to clean windows with. It's not Windex. Uh, I'm actually using Dawn dish soap and water. And I pre soaked this applicator. And I'm going to wet these windows down. One more critical thing that's very important about cleaning the stairwells, any kind of place, is these dirty spots right here where kids 
rub their hands. Now that's one microfiber. And wipe these areas down right here because this really gets dirty. Make sure you wipe your door handles down really good. Another place that gets dirty is like right here on the front side and the back side of the door where the kids place their hands right here also. Another place this is is around the corners where they go in and they just touch and grab and touch and it is black. If you ever walked in a building and see the first thing you see is black on the doors and stuff like that, it just really gives a bad first impression. Okay, I hope that made a lot of sense to you or made some sense to you about how to clean stairwells. We just kind of went through the basics on how to do stairwells. You know, don't go into that deep of everything every day when you clean stairwells, just from time to time when you have that chance. And uh, I just want to take this time to thank each and every one of you on your comments. I try to respond to every comment uh, on this channel. You know, it gets so big that I can't do that, but we're not to that point yet. We are growing uh, pretty fast in uh, subscribers. And, uh, you know, I do this because I enjoy helping people and relaying information. And some of the comments that I've had, you know, is asked some, you know, some pretty common questions that I didn't even know when I started. So it lets me know that there are people out there that, that, you know, appreciate this help and need help and just understanding on how to do certain things and maybe an easier way of doing things. Like I say, I don't know how to do everything. I just try to relay information and I am who I am. And I uh, just want to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas. Uh, and I hope you get to spend some time with some family and enjoy yourself. I hope you're enjoying some time off. Uh, I know some of y'all have commented that you're taking, uh, you know, some unpaid leave and uh, different things like that that you're doing during your holidays. At least I hope you're taking a few days off and just enjoy yourself and relax and recoup because uh, we get burnt out uh, just like teachers do. We get tired and frustrated and aggravated and we need to just kind of step back and relax and uh, kind of re renew ourselves because if it's not for me, I'm not getting another off day until like March. I'm going to get all the spring break off. That's the reason I'm working all these days now where I can enjoy the beautiful weather. So I just hope y'all get out there and sweep some floors and dust out some halls and uh, take out some garbage because you know as soon as those kids get back, you're going to have to do it again. And remember to subscribe. Is that right? And like. And like. Like. That's what I always keep forgetting. We always want to subscribe and like because when you subscribe you always get update emails when we post a new video so have a great merry christmas